After the most successful African Olympic National National Olympic Committee in terms of boxing. Now here in Ring A on day two at the Dakar Arena, we're going to change our attention to the men's 63 kilogram lightweight division. In the red corner, presenting Ethiopia, Elem, Jeffrey Malem, Ibrahim. And again, if you're an aficionado of Olympic-style boxing, you will know that lightweight is one of the traditional weight categories in Olympic classification, but it has been 60 kilograms yeah, for the majority. There's no more light welterweight, there's no more light flyweight. Remember, the 10 Olympic weight divisions that existed have now been reduced to 8. So flyweight is the smallest weight category of 52 kilograms. Light welterweight no longer exists. And lightweight is above the old limit of 60 kilograms, just below the old light welter limit at 60 of 64 kilograms. The men lightweight boxers will compete now between 57 and 63 kilograms. So they're the five judges in charge of this lightweight contest. lightweight action and this one between boxers from Ethiopia and Uganda the boxer wearing red is the Ethiopian representative that is Abraham Gabri Meriam just 19 years of age only had his 19th birthday last week he's facing the boxer with the dramatic haircut the go faster mohawk down the center of his head dyed a peroxide blonde currently boxing out of the south poor stance and that is Yasin Adnan 22 years of age and he's having success with a right hand but credit to Gebra Mariam the boxer wearing red because having been put on the back foot he got onto the front foot and scored with a cracking right hand all action starts with this opening lightweight bout yep very exciting start kind of captured by that Fantastic right hand. Gabriel Merriam there, right through the middle. Give Adnan something to think about. Certainly, maybe the better start from Adnan. And another good right hand, Ronald. Left hand counted over the top from Adnan, and this is a terrific start. But look at the footwork and the pivoting of Gabriel Merriam as he was able to change his position in the ring, spin on that front foot. And he's looking to establish great counter-punching as he did with that right hand there. It was a lively start from Adnan, but the dynamism of Gabra Merriam is just giving him cause to pause, but then he comes back yep. with a front foot attack of his own. No one certainly has a foothold in this, in this match so far. This is very, very evenly matched. Both guys still trying to stamp their authority. Gabra Merriam possibly landed the cleaner shots up to now, but Adnan refuses point blank to give ground. This is a real ebb and flow classic, this one. So less than a minute to go in the opening round and both boxers still trying to assert their authority yeah. over their opponent, but testament to their competitive spirit Neither one of them is yielding so far. No. It's Gebra Merriam on the front foot. We've still got 43 seconds to go. This is what we want to see. This is what Olympic-style boxing is all about. These lads really trying hard from that spot in Tokyo. And Gebra Merriam, who from my perspective, Alex, was shaping up as a boxer as he takes a good single shot from Adnan. Oh. He was shaping up as a boxer, but here demonstrating yep. his ability to brawl as well of course and you know we've just seen him land a couple of very very good counter punches as well certainly got Gabriel Merriam's respect there with a counter right hook Gabriel Merriam 
setting. Neglecting the boxing skills that he used in the opening portion of the contest and Greta getting on the front foot, willing to accommodate Adnan, Adnan in toe-to-toe -to -toe exchanges. Yep. Terrific three minutes where there were so many variations. Very, very good round. Possibly the best round we've seen so far. I'm just trying to discern whether that's a nick on the nose of Gebra Mariam. Keep very an good. eye as to whether that starts to bleed during the course of this contest but all action right from the start Alex just fantastic Adnan made the better start as we've seen then Gabriel Miriam came right back into it changed these tactics opted to force the action try and land the right hand as often as he could but both lads certainly shipped a fair bit of punishment throughout and I think there definitely is a cut on the nose. Well, all five judges favouring the work of the boxer in blue, Yassine Adnan, taking it 10-9 for all five of the ringside observers. That was a lot of what you actually like to see there. Clearly, the judges would like to see Adnan's possibly a little bit more technically astute boxing. His counter punching was pretty impressive as well. So into the second round then, and it's Adnan who begins on the front foot. Gebra Mariam has demonstrated his boxing in the space of the ring, his ability to go forward, just being forced backwards, and that's a cracking right hand landed by Adnan, but he comes back with two shots down the middle. First and third boxing, though, by Adnan, because he had the final word in that exchange. Yep, there certainly is a little cut on Gebra Mariam's nose, a little nick on the nose. I don't think it's a major injury. More like a little scratch, but there certainly is some blood coming from there now. Gabriel Merriam really trying to force the action. Has Adnan trapped on the ropes there. And was burrowing away to the body with terrific intensity. Forcing the man in blue backwards once again. He's remaining composed, is Adnan. Switches to the body as well. But Gebra Merriam has really upped the tempo. In the opening minute of this second round, the referee is just called nose. time to check this nose injury. And he is calling now that palm into the nook, that fist into the yeah. palm. You just saw that gesture. That means that this injury has been caused by a punch. So if this injury causes the bout to, the, to be stopped, the boxer in blue would be a winner. RSCI. Good right hand to the body and left hand to the head on the resumption. Gebra Mariam burrowing away. Oh. That's a cracking left hand landed by Adnan. Gebra Mariam comes right back again and he's putting the pressure on Adnan. Terrific contest this one. Gebra Mariam has noticeably increased the tempo. There's more urgency in his work to begin this second round. But Adnan, he's dealing with this increase in tempo admirably. He's picking his shots well. But Gebra Mariam remaining in pursuit of his man. This battle of national champions is really shaping up to be a cracking contest of high skill. So just a minute to go in the second round. Gebra Mariam fainting with that lead left hand. Adnan off the mark with his attempt to southpaw left, but then his follow-up left was, oh. was right on the money, as was that yeah. right uppercut. It was a lovely shot, very well picked as well. Seen the gap, Gebra Mariam was leaving himself pretty much exposed to that uppercut when Adnan drove it through the middle. Beautiful count well. and left hand once again Sat from on the back leg. Waited on Gebra Merriam's lead right hand to come. Just let it drift over his shoulder and he came back with that heavy backhand cross. Well, we're looking at Adnan here, but what we need to be seeing is the treatment being administered to Gebra Merriam and what the doctor's point of view is. And it's the doctor who's been called up and the contest looks as though it is being stopped. The nose injury, which was inflicted in the opening round, worsened in the second round. The referee took a look early on in the second round, called for the doctor for this on the second occasion. And when we saw the referee make that gesture of the fist into the palm, that indicates that this injury has been caused by a punch and not an accidental clash of heads. And so Abraham Gabriel Merriam, the man who has just turned 19 years of age, sees his Olympic dream come to an end for now here at Dakar because there is the global qualifier in Paris which his federation may choose to send him to but he is absolutely distraught
he was really competing admirably against his fellow national champion from Uganda, Gebra Mariam, African Youth Games silver medalist in 2018, three-time national championship gold medalist having taken three consecutive titles, two youth titles in 2017 and 2018, then transitioning to the senior ranks seamlessly to take the senior title in 2019, but he has been stopped by an injury here. Let's get the official verdict. Winner by RSCI, his free start to fight by injury. In the blue corner, representing Uganda, Yasu. So there is the official verdict then. Yasin Adnan, a winner in the second round. Referee stopping the contest because of injury in the second round. But my goodness, wasn't he good value before that? As was the defeated boxer, Yas Abraham Gabri Mariam, the 19-year-old, really playing his part in what was a cracking contest. But the nose injury, which was inflicted by a punch, bringing about an end to this contest in round number two. Yeah, it was pretty, It was a shame actually because it was warming up to be. Well, well, it would have been a great third round. We've seen two very good rounds, as it was. You know, a, maybe a little bit unfair. You know, it didn't look like a serious injury, in my opinion. It looked like a pretty bad scratch, but it was seeping blood. But to no effect. I don't think it would have affected Gabriel Merriam's performance that much, especially in the position it was in. So the Ugandan fans absolutely ecstatic and a reminder.